These are the five clones that we've selected to keep from our Grex Nepenthes Dream of Victory, uh, the first seed set at least. Dream of Victory is a hybrid of Nepenthes Densiflora by Spectabilis Giant and Nepenthes Ventricosa Red. So we selected five of them because there's a fair amount of variability in this cross, both in terms of the uh, pitcher color, the leaf color, and uh, some of the pitcher shape. So I'm just going to go over these really quickly so you can get a sense of what this Grex can produce. Um, these two that I'm going to show you first are clones D and E, I think? Yeah, E and D. So this is a clone E. Um, this is a very dark colored plant. Um, as you can see, the peristome is, is solid red, pretty nicely developed. It's probably going to continue to develop a bit. The, par the uh, pitcher color is sort of a maroon with, with speckles. Um, and they all, they all do a similar thing on this plant. Uh, the leaf color is your standard sort of green, nice and handsome. Uh, this one though, uh, Clone D, same picture situation, it's dark, it's got a red, darkish red um, peristome. It's a little bit blockier, not as long, so a little bit more of the spectabulous shape in this one. But this has this nice sort of dusky coloration that doesn't come through super well in the video, but maybe you can see on this leaf here. It's kind of a bit of a purple, it's got some, some purplish red in there. Uh, very unusual, and we, we quite like that. That's one of the nice things about this cross. Oh, here, this leaf shows it very well. You can see um, the older leaves age into this wonderful purple color. Quite, uh, quite interesting. Um, the next two clones, clones uh, B and C, are a bit lighter, and they have striped peristomes. So this is clone B. Um, as you can see, it's got this yellow and red stripes, uh, sort of a lighter red pitcher body. Um, and this one holds its stripes in the peristome even as it ages. Here's an older picture and it's still got the, uh, the stripes on that. Clone C back here is a little bit darker. Uh, this one's, there we go. Clone C is a little bit darker. It does have stripes still, but it's more of a red and, and maroon stripes. Uh, they qu aren't quite as striking. The picture body's a little bit darker. Um, it's also got the same sort of dusky coloration on the leaf. So you can see the sort of purple, uh, purple leaf color which is quite nice on the, on the margins, and also the stem, well, at least on the new growth, the, the stem is a bit, uh, is a bit red there. Um, that's quite a, nice, quite a nice plant. The most interesting one, or the most unusual one, though, is Clone A, right here, which has very much the spectabulous color, rather than the uh, Ventricosa or the Densiflora. So it's got this pale, pale pitcher body with speckles, really nice striped peristone with different uh, shades of red in the stripes. Um, and again, it holds that one even, even as it ages, so that's quite nice. And this has the most dramatic leaf color situation. So the stem is a sort of like lightly red maroon color. Uh, the leaves age in very nicely into this, into this purplish, purplish sheen, nice and shiny. Um, this is a, quite a fun plant. Um, so these are our five selected clones. There's also one more that was small, so we didn't select it initially, but um, it's right here. This is a clump of plants that, that seem to have uh, divided up as they were growing. And uh, so we need to split this up and, and uh, we'll be able to, to sell it and all that. But I think we're going to select one of these because, as you can see, this has unbelievable reddish leaf color. It's, this, it's kind of coppery bronze all the way around, very strikingly so. Uh, the light makes it a little bit hard to see. Um, but, you know, it's got, it's got a red, red peristome, so it's not striped. Um, but just the foliage on this is totally incredible. So that will probably end up being clone F. Yeah, we'll probably make this clone F uh, of this set. But uh, this is Nepenthes Dream of Victory. Uh, thank you for watching.